is the world's first mind control production wheelchair. Tying up with government would be a key step in taking this technology from the lab to the people. We came across uh, this uh, disease which is not a disease but a condition which is called LIS. So LIS is a condition which is called locked in syndrome. So uh, all your muscle control over your body is lost completely. So that becomes very devastating. So we said the best way to talk to that person is via brain. So the first thing which we uh, we did uh, in this field was making the brain control wheelchair. So uh, that device basically senses what exactly is going on in, uh, in the brain of that person and then sends it down to the wheelchair where it is computed uh, and it automatically adapts to the brain of the person. So when we are talking about robotics, I think everyone has an interest in, uh, in robotics. And uh, talking about this field, this is a very, very fancy field. I was interested in tinkering things when I was um, fairly young. When I was 17, I uh, took some parts of the robot and I programmed that robot and uh, I made it dance. When I made it dance, I was like, wow, this is something I love, right? Uh, and after that, what happened was things automatically took me into the direction which uh, I'm going right now. <laughs> If I talk about one single person, uh, it has to be, I guess, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, which uh, inspires me to make things which are way perfect and way more innovative than anyone else. 